Welcome back. In this video, we're going to do some more rationalizing of denominators, but we're going to rationalize denominators that might be a binomial and contain a radical. So we'll have to do this using conjugates. So recall what our conjugates are. Our conjugates are really a difference of two squares. a plus b times a minus b multiplies out to a squared minus b squared. So if we have a square root or radical as a or b, when we square it, that's going to eliminate the radical. So a plus radical b times a minus radical b equals a squared minus radical b squared, while radical b squared is b. So that's going to get rid of our square roots. That's the beauty of conjugates. When we multiply something by a conjugate, and it has radicals in it, the radicals will disappear. Got a couple of samples here. We want to simplify and rationalize the denominator. So what we want to do here is we, because we have a binomial in the denominator, we cannot treat this like we did in the previous lesson. We can't treat this as a monomial and just multiply by the square root of 2 over square root of 2. So here's an example of what not to do. If I multiply by radical 2 over radical 2, well, we think we might get rid of that. But what happens when we distribute, we end up with the square root of 2 plus 2. So we haven't eliminated our problem. We've just transferred it from one term to the other term. Okay, So we can't do that. That's not going to work for us. So I will go ahead and erase what not to do. And I got to put my square root of 2 back. So, what we need here to do here to rationalize the denominator is to multiply by the conjugate. Okay? So, make a note. But we need to multiply the conjugate. And of course, we need to do, do that to both the numerator and the denominator, right? Because we want to multiply by 1 so we don't change the location on the number line. So let's multiply the denominator by 1 minus the square root of 2 and over 1 minus the square root of 2. So this is 1. doesn't change our location on the number line. And I'm just going to leave the numerator as its two factors right now. We could distribute in, but I'm not going to do that at that at this point. So following our difference of two squares or our conjugates, 1 times 1 is 1, so we have 1 squared minus radical 2 squared, which really is 3 times quantity 1 minus radical 2, all over 1 minus 2, which simplifies to 3 times 1 minus radical 2 over negative 1, or, if you will, negative 3 times the quantity 1 minus radical 2 all over 1. So that is just our final answer, the one circled in black. Sample problem number 7 must be left over from another sample set. But really, our sample problem, too, once again, we're going to multiply by a conjugate. Now, again, we can't multiply by radical 2 over radical 2. We've got to multiply by the conjugate of radical 2 minus 1. So I'm going to multiply this binomial by radical 2 plus 1 and radical 2 plus 1. Now we're in good shape. So. Radical 2 times radical 2 is 2 minus 1. So our denominator really is 1. And then we've got to foil the numerator. So this is going to be a little bit more complicated, a little messy. But we have 2 radical 2 plus 2 
plus radical 10 plus radical 5. And we have no like square roots here. Everything is simplified. So our final answer is all 2 radical 2 plus radical 10 plus radical 5 plus 2 all over 1. So that is our final answer. We probably wouldn't even write the 1. So we're all set there. So our final answer, 2 radical 2 plus 2 plus radical 10 plus 5 all over 1. A couple more sample problems that you'll have. You'll be asked to simplify these. I think I'm going to do number 9. I'll save number 8 for you to bring to class. So let's go ahead and simplify our numerator here. We have 2x plus, well, the square root of 32 is the square root of 16 times the square root of 2 times the square root of x squared all over 6x. So we have 2x plus square root of 16 is 4. Square root of x squared is x. So that takes care of those two, leaving me with square root of 2 all over 6x. But in here, there is a common factor in our numerator. So I am going to factor out the common factor of the numerator. That common factor is 2x, leaving me with 1 plus 2x square root of 2 all over 6x. And now I have common factors that I can simplify. 2 over 6 is 3. My x's cancel. My final answer is 1 plus 2x squared to 2 all over 3. I will save this sample problem for you to simplify and bring to class. Simplify the square root of 75 then factor out of the numerator and you should be able to simplify the numerator and the denominator. So simplify, factor, then cancel. And that wraps up rationalizing denominators with conjugates and we will see you in class.